Hello all, welcome to Sivan's SAP SD training in association with the AMB IT Services and Technologies. In this session, I would like to explain about the invoice reports. So what exactly and how many invoice reports we execute on daily basis, on day-to-day -day basis, or the, these reports can be used by the, the core users or the business users, how they use it, and what are the input selection criteria, and the output selection, how the output selection will be. So those details as a at high level theory part we are going to discuss in this part one. In the part two, we will discuss the practical part so that you will completely understand about the invoice reports. Let us get into the system. Billing due list. We all know this transaction code VF04. So which will display the number of outbound deliveries which are due for billing. With respect to sales area, if the business wants to see, yes, they can execute this transaction and by providing the input selection criteria like sales organization, distribution channel and division, and then the date range from when to when these particular documents have been created in the system. So that, that also they can do that. And one more thing, the business may run this particular transaction codes program in the back end so that every one hour or every two hours or once in um, five hours, this particular program will be running in the back end as a bad job. And then it will pick up the all the list of uh, outbound deliveries which are due for billing. Here, it is like uh, the outbound delivery got created and then the billing has been noted done. That means that entire outbound delivery is completed. The picking has been done, packing has been done, and then the batch number has been maintained. And PJ also might have been com completed for that outbound delivery. Those will be listed in this particular uh, transaction code and then particular report VF04, the billing a due list. And here we need to be careful to choose the options like whether you wanted to see the order related billing or delivery related billing or rebate related billing type intercompany billing, whatever the documents, appropriate documents which are due for billing. So if you select the order related, then what will be there? The sales orders will be uh, uh, displayed on the output screen, output selection screen, because they are the third party scenarios or individual purchase orders, all, all those things, especially the third party scenarios will be displayed, especially for the billing due list. Intercompany billing, whenever the intercompany sales transactions happens, so that time, you can choose the option intercompany billing so that those intercompany related outbound deliveries also will be displayed on the screen. Then we can process them, whether it is to be processed individually or collectively, that is the discretion of the business, how they wanted to do it from their end. So here the selection fields are like billing data, organization data, customer data, and so on. So many shipping point with reference shipping point, sold to party, destination country, all these selections criteria, we can do that. We can select them and then we can uh, create them in the system. That means the display, the output will be displayed in the system. So this is how we can see the list of outbound deliveries which are due for billing. So that it, if the business wants to execute all the billing documents at a time, then they can click on collective billing document. If there are no issues in the billing document, then definitely they can directly create the system will create the invoice document otherwise if there are any issues related is there any delivery billing uh, bill, uh, billing blocks are there so those we need to uh, first clear those details and then accordingly the billing document can be generated if you choose only one document then click on the individual billing document before that if at all when you are doing the testing especially in the lower environment like quality systems you can simulate this one if there are any errors, so that time it will propose that these are the, because of these reasons, the system is not able to create the billing document for this outbound delivery. So those details, you can identify them and then accordingly you can take the action against those issues. So this is the maintain billing due list. The another one report is list of billing documents. The way we see the list of sales orders and list of deliveries, the similar way we can also see the list of billing documents. We can see the open billing documents or all billing documents by inputting the selection criteria in the selection criteria screen, organizational data, partner function, as well as the payer details 
and those documents have been generated between the date range from one to date range also we can specify and then we can see them the list of sales orders list of out a list of billing documents not the sales orders list of billing documents the transaction code is pf05 why this is required to list out or track the details of all billing documents so sometimes the billing documents will be generated and then because of the uh, revenue account determination is not completed yet maybe the reason why the accounting documents will not be generated so that to identify why it is need, it has not been generated those details we can identify them and then we can create them we can correct them and then we can create the billing document completely so that is why we can see to track the list of billing documents created in a day or in a month or for the particular payer those documents we can list out and then we can take the actions accordingly so this is the output selection criteria for this particular payer so how much he has he has to pay and under which sales organization he has been created and be belongs to and number of billing documents and the sigma value those details we can see them and accordingly the business can take the action so this is about the list of billing documents the third one is blocked billing documents we all know this vfx3 transaction which is a report so this report also we can run in the background the batch job we can specify a batch job and then accordingly we can see the list of blocked billing documents and accordingly the business can take the decision why these documents have not been cleared cleared or created the billing document are not posted to the accounting it is blocked for accounting what is the reason why so that is why so the business requirement will be like the, to list out the details of incomplete billing documents with respect to accounting pricing error in foreign trade and error in authorization and so on so many other things will be there so you can give the sales organization details if you know the payer payer details also you can pass it on created on between the till today we have taken and then billing type also by giving that one so that the filtering criteria more filtering criteria will fetch the list of appropriate uh, documents so that is why we use the input selection criteria with multiple uh, filtering criteria in the input selection screen we will give the multiple uh, input criteria so that with that filtering criteria we will get the appropriate documents and the output exactly so we will see the output how it looks like and how we are going to release it so these are the billing documents which are due for release to accounting so the billing documents got generated maybe because of the billing block set a uh, billing block has been set uh, in the billing document vivo fa transaction where the billing block is there it is not allowing to the posting to the accounting so that is because of that one it will come to the release billing documents section so this is one of the controls on the uh, end users so that they will not be able to release them maybe maybe the the requirement is like um, the invoice value is up to 1 lakh then the user can directly release it he will be having authorization if it is more than 1 lakh to between uh, 1 lakh and 3 lakhs then it will go to his superior and from 3 lakhs to 5 lakhs it will go to his own man uh, the end country head or the con financial controller and so on so unless and until they release the block the system will not allow the user to post it to this particular billing document to the accounting this we must keep in our mind and then accordingly we can do it so here you can see that you can select the list of um, billing documents and then click on release to accounting so that it will release and it will post it to the accounting so you people can try in the quality system and by by having the billing block set and then release to accounting or otherwise in the practical system also we can try so that when you execute this vf x3 transaction with respect to sales organization whatever the billing documents are blocked for billing so those blocked billing documents can be released for accounting so this is the purpose of this particular report vf x3 in the next part we will see the here uh, a practical how it is going to uh, work vfx3 vf04 and vf05 transactions we will execute them in the system and then we will see them in the 
system in the upcoming part. Knowledge sharing never ends. Thank you all. Have a nice day.